You see how I put it together nicely, right? I did my hair, my nails, my makeup, feeling myself, mirror, check, check, check. I put it together nicely and I did it for me, not you. So again, why would I settle? I don't have to settle when I'm doing it for me, baby. Okay, let's just keep it a thousand. You're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for attention. You're doing it for attention for men and you're doing it for attention and competition with other women. Let's just be honest about that. Because if you were doing it for yourself, you'd be in a house alone by yourself, looking in the mirror by yourself with nobody else seeing you. But instead, you're on video trying to convince people that you're just doing it for yourself while you pan in and out of the shot with your camera. Just be honest. It's a biological thing that happens when women are in competition and women want to be seen and all that. And that's fine. But don't make excuses about your attitude saying, I'm not going to settle. So this is the why I, why I do this. This is why I got my nails done and my hair done and why I look this good. Because you can't say that I'm settling because I do it for myself. You do not do it for yourself. And you need to be honest about that. Because all this does is it comes across as very, um, you know, I, I hate to even say it, but it comes across as very stuck up very stuck on yourself stuck in vanity there's nothing unique about beautiful women sexy women you guys are everywhere men look for what's inside for long-term relationships not that outer shell that you wear to impress other people and get attention from other people men think about what it is you're going to teach their children if they decide to have a family with you do you really think men want to teach, want their wife or their girlfriend or whatever it is to teach your children how to be vain, materialistic, and all into themselves? That's not balance. And I think deep down in your heart, you know that that's not balance. You know, Mother Nature gives you guys your beauty and Father Time swiftly takes it away. You only have a certain amount of time to look like that, a certain amount of time to have children. How much more time are you going to waste in vanity and thinking that is your primary asset, your primary value, because that is what you women are doing. You are putting your, the way you look in your body at the forefront of who you are. And then you get mad when men treat you accordingly, because men are going to treat you the way that, you know, the energy that you put out is what men are going to react to. So men, you know, we can size that up really quickly. We can look at you and tell, okay, this girl is stuck on herself. She's all into her looks. I'm just going to tell her exactly what she wants to hear so I can get what I want. Then I'm going to dash. I'm going to be out. Because that is what you're putting at the forefront. You are telling men that this is my primary value. Don't pay attention to nothing else. But again, you're not unique. What happens when he finds someone that's more beautiful than you? that has a better body than you, but she doesn't have the attitude that you have. You're gonna lose every time. You're gonna lose to a four and five that has a great attitude and that's fit, feminine, friendly, and peaceful. That's who you're gonna lose to. The way you look, how sexy you are, how much money you have, how many degrees you have, does not equal value to men that want to have a long-term relationship with you. And sadly enough, so many women believe that this is true because all you guys do is do the same thing. You repeat the same thing and you cheer each other on when you're all doing the same thing. And then you're all lonely saying this excuse about, oh, I'm not going to settle. Huh? What man wants to settle for you? What makes you so special? You think that your worth is more than what it actually is because all that, you, what you're doing and what you're showing, that's all superficial. Looks are going to fade. What's going to happen when you get crow's feet and you got all these wrinkles and you got all these age spots on your skin and your neck is falling and your hair is gray and your hair is falling out and it's hard for you to lose weight because your body is, is acting weird on you. And it's going through menopause and all these things. That is what's happening with a lot of these older women now. Because they have been led to believe that their looks are their primary asset. Their looks and what they have. Their degrees and their money. 
You guys are focusing on the wrong thing. And yet you think men are going to be receptive to that. You think men want to take that seriously just because you're attractive. Yeah, you're attractive. But what else do you got? If you don't have anything but being attractive, that means absolutely nothing. And you know very well that you wouldn't just be with a man just because he was attractive. You might have a little fling with him or something like that and say, oh, this man is sexy and all this and that and deal with him in that kind of way. But would you really take him seriously for your future, for the father of your kids, if he wasn't doing nothing but being attractive? If he wasn't doing nothing but focusing on his looks, if he stayed at the gym 20 hours a day and that's all he focused on was how he looked and all he focused on was being in the mirror and taking bathroom selfies. You wouldn't like that either. You wouldn't take that seriously either. So why is it that you think that men care about that in women? Men want peace not competition or shallow women that have no focus in their lives but to be vain hey guys thanks for watching this video review if you could do me a favor like and subscribe to my channel there should be a button down at the bottom right of this video if you're on tiktok please go ahead and just click the heart button and give me a follow i'd appreciate it thanks a lot again and have a great one